Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be trying out these peekaboo box braids and I'm using like a ginger reddish hair color. And then this is what the hair looks like. I got three packs or three like bundles of the hair just to make sure I had enough and to make sure, I wanted to also be able to use this another time, but that's what that hair looked like. And then this was the other hair for like the black that I needed. So that's what they look like together. The red hair is a little bit longer, but I made it work and I put it all on this like little rack thing. I always use this when I braid my hair. It makes it so much easier. If you like to do braids a lot on yourself, I highly recommend getting this. I'm gonna go ahead and start parting my hair. I didn't show like the full thing of me doing this because personally, I'm really bad at parting my hair. And even with like looking in the mirrors, I just cannot seem to part my hair correctly. So I kind of only put a couple clips in and I focus more off camera doing the parting. I don't know, I need to start watching videos or something to teach me. It's not like the lines are crooked or anything like that. It's like the like the squares and like the proportions of the parts are uneven. That's what I struggle with. And here I'm just showing like how long it took me just to part my head. It took a long time and that's one thing I don't like about braiding my hair. But anyways, I'm starting on the first section of my hair and I'm using that Maui Moisture Curl Milk. And then I'm also using some Edge Booster. I'm using the Edge Booster on the actual like base or the root of my hair. And for these, I'm just doing normal box braids. I haven't actually done knotless braids before. Eventually I wanna try doing it because I know knotless braids look so much like cleaner and sleeker and just a lot better than this so i'm not doing the knotless this time around but next time i definitely want to try doing that also this is my first time doing color hair color box braids so i didn't tuck the hair in or like you know try to hide my hair and you want to tuck the ends or tuck your hair in so it's not showing then i would definitely recommend doing that it makes it look a lot better so i'm just continuing to braid my hair and using the ginger colored hair um, I only did it for like two rows and the parts are like the braids are a little bit bigger They're kind of like medium slash large a little bit and I had a total of nine braids that were colored So moving on I am now gonna go ahead and start using the black hair or the dark brown 1b hair for the rest of the hair or the rest of the sections. Another thing with the hair or the hair that I'm using right now like this dark brown hair this one I ended up not well, I ended up using all of it and it was so thin and just like not good. So the hair that I showed in the beginning, I think it would be good for like a ponytail or like a um, like braided ponytail. But for this, it's just not enough hair. So I ended up having to pull out a random pack of hair that I had laying around. Luckily, I had laying around. So, but that hair in the beginning, I wouldn't really recommend it for braiding. I would recommend it for like a ponytail, but not this. So I'm finally, finally on the last braid and it took me about four hours and 46 minutes to, that's like from me parting my hair till now. And then I went ahead and I dipped the ends. That's how they looked before and then after. I dipped the ends of the hair in hot water off camera. And then I'm using some oil. I'm just putting this on my scalp. I also went ahead and did my edges. I kind of like changed them later on. This is just something that I did real quick. I'm gonna add some flexi rods to the end of the hair. I kind of prefer to use like soft rollers, but I have flexi rods available, so that's what I use. And I only used a couple on the ends of the hair. And then this is actually like a couple days later, but I'm taking them out and I ended up, um, like when I had to redo them, I kind of was lazy and I just braided the hair and then I put the flexi rod on. So it's still curled up. I kind of did it that way so I didn't have to put all of them like in separate, you know, curls or whatever, separate flexi rods. And this is how the curls looked when I took the flexi rods out. So now I'm going in with some scissors and I'm just cutting. Like I saw a couple pieces of hair that are just like sticking out like that you can see just some that came out of the braid so i'm just cutting them off instead of trying to stick them back in
Then I wanted to take some mousse and I just put that kind of on the roots and just all throughout the braids. Mainly also because when I just cut the braids and like cut some of the hair, like some things or some pieces were still sticking out. So I kind of use a little mousse to smooth it down and make it look a little less noticeable. So this is what the hair looks like when I got done and this is the final result. I think it looks good for my first time. Next time I have a couple things to try. Like I wanna try knotless and then I wanna try to tuck the hair in so you don't see my hair. Other than that, I hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.